So today we're going to propagate our cotyledon tomentosa, or what we call bear's paw, because it has these little leaves that look like uh, fuzzy little bear's paws. And they're very fragile, so be careful when handling the succulent. So there's two real basic ways to propagate this plant. You take about a five inch cutting from one of the healthy stems, remove the bottom leaves, allow it to callus for a few days, place it in well-draining soil, you water it when the soil feels a little bit dry, and then after a couple days, you just put in a nice potting mix, or loamy potting mix, that would be suitable for this plant. Now also you can propagate it by leaves. Some people say it's impossible, but you can give it a try. And what you do is you just twist off one of the leaves here, just twist them, and they'll come right off. You let it callus for a few days, you place it in some well-draining soil, and uh, then you just plant it and it should grow just fine if you're lucky. All right, so let's go to our potting bench and we'll give it a shot. So here are the leaves we twisted off our bear's paw. Okay, a nice clean twist, you can see. And we're just gonna put it in our little yogurt container here that I poked holes in the bottom of. And I added um, simply cactus mix on top. So we'll set them here for a few days, let them callus over and then we'll uh, just pluck them in the soil. And here, here's our stem. It's about five inches long. And we'll kind of twist off the bottoms here. There we go. Just pop off the bottoms. And then we'll just take this and we'll put it in a larger container because this will be our permanent container for this plant. And we'll kind of let it callus over as well. And these two little guys, we'll, we'll put them here too and hopefully they'll grow, all right? So both of these, we're gonna bring them inside the house because it's been getting down to about 50 degrees here in my neighborhood. And uh, typically you want it to be about 70 or 80, 80 degrees even until they start to, um, start to root and get ready. This is day three and I have our bear's paw leaves, also our cutting up here. And they started to almost callus over a little bit these are really slow growing plants, so you gotta be patient. Anyway, what I do is I just put them right in the uh, potting mix, which also has uh, some cactus mix in there as well. And I'll put them in just like this, and no extra water, and we'll see if these guys take to root. But up here, here's our primary cutting, if you remember. And this guy's been sitting out for 72 hours as well and it appears he might be calcing. So all I'll do on this guy is poke a hole with my chopstick here. And I'll stick him in just a little bit, not too much. And we'll prop him up a little bit, just like this. Hopefully he stays. All right, there we go. Anyway, so we'll prop him up and we're not gonna feed him any water for about seven to 10 days. And then we'll just dribble in enough water to keep them wet and happy, but not enough to overwater and drown the roots. And you gotta be patient until these guys take to root and hopefully we'll have a nice beautiful plant out of these. Now when these guys take to root, I'll just pull them out and replant them into a better pot instead of my, uh, you know, yogurt container here. All right, so hope that helped and have good luck with your bear's paw succulent. Have a great day, bye.